answer, but it's worth considering. There are One thing that Chamath and many others agree on is that the cost of solar panels and battery walls has been dropping dramatically. This is great news because it makes distributed energy more accessible to more people. As these technologies continue to get cheaper, it could completely change the way we think about energy. Shamath's original prediction was that the world's first trillionaire would be made in the climate change sector, but he's recently updated his forecast. Now he believes the energy transition is where the real money will be made. Now I know what some of you are thinking. The energy sector? Isn't that old news? But Shamath argues that the sheer size of the energy market, combined with the immense potential for innovation, is what makes it such a prime candidate for producing a trillionaire. Think about it. We're in the midst of a major shift towards renewable energy sources. This transition is not just about saving the planet, it's also about creating a new economic landscape. But here's where things get really interesting. Shamath highlights the distinction between a distributed energy model and a company that can capture a large share of the market. This is where the real challenge lies. Distributed energy is all about decentralization, about empowering individuals and communities to generate and manage their own energy. But who's going to orchestrate this vast network? Who's going to provide the infrastructure, the technology, the services? Shamath believes the company that figures out how to do this, the company that becomes the master conductor of this distributed energy symphony, could very well be the one to mint the world's first trillionaire. These are just a few of the companies Shamath mentions as potential contenders. But the truth is, we don't know who will ultimately win this race. It's a wide open field, ripe with opportunity. So what do you guys think? Is Chamath's prediction spot on? Is distributed energy the future? And who do you think will emerge as the dominant player in this new energy landscape? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I can't wait to hear what you have to say.